Welcome back to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Uh, we'll do a quick, quick, quick tutorial on battlefields. Um, they're your random battles on the world map. And it's a good thing we got these mad plants, because I'm about to explain something very important. Enemies can be weak against weapons. This, these trees are weak against the axe, as you would expect. And we will make it through this battle. But as you can see, it's... They... Uh... Yeah. They can also be weak against things like paralysis, such, and so forth. The best ones are weak against death. Trust me. I've seen those. Anyway, we'll, um, beat this battlefield, and I'll see you back on the world map. Okay, we're back! And here we are. The final battle of a battlefield. This will be the one and only time I will show you this. When I clear a battlefield, I will show you if I gained anything from here on out. Other than the obvious thing we'll gain at the end, which will be experience. And as you notice, I somewhere got poisoned in the middle of that. I'm not entirely sure where. Stupid frogs. As you can see, though, I'm almost dead. And we got 54 experience. And now's a good time to show you how much cure will do. It increases as every level you increase. Yep. Sand Temple, where the elixir is. So we can hear the... <sighs> heal Kaylee and get her back as a member, right? No, it's empty. Yeah. Awesome music. I love this guy. Oh yeah, 9,000 gold! Yeah! <laughs> Stuff is precious. Yeah, it's left in a treasure chest in the middle of nowhere! You know, and apparently we get an allowance, but we never see it because we never technically, theoretically spend a month doing this. Yes. Oh, yes. We get to help him clear out a dungeon. And if he gets the treasure, we get the elixir. Yeah, so let's go. And now he gives us a quick tutorial. I love this guy. He trist him. He's awesome. He really is. Awesome character. Awesome guy. And... Uh, yeah, let's give a quick show. He knows, as does, does, I believe, everyone, every other character, the minimum spell, life. Brings you back from the dead. His armor protects him from death and fire. And his weapon, this is the first ranged weapon. The ninja star, he has ammo for it. So, I'll meet you after I finish this done, this battlefield. Well, what did we gain from that? Well, we gained a case of food poisoning, which has been taken care of, and, um, a new set of armor. Or at least, a new item. A charm, which increases our defense power by one. Trust me, it's very useful. Let's move on to the Bone Dungeon. Which, I think I'll... Yeah, the easy way to go around is to use the sand. And that's the easiest way, because we really don't need to get that many levels, as you noticed. We are now level 5. We'll get the bombs. And this other item. Yes, bombs. No other gunpowder weapon in the game, but bombs. This is a Final Fantasy game, folks. People don't like it because it's too easy. I love it. And sealed, sealed shot, so... What's this? Kaboom! 30. How about 50 for 15? Yes, you always say no. I think it's cheaper. Actually, I didn't do the math. Actually, I didn't even think that one through. That's just instinct. We're coming back here. For those of you who didn't know, this here is an, can be bombed. Boom! And what do we get here? Our second defensive item, a steel shield. Which brings the armor total up by five. Very useful. And if you can hear that music, that's just the people above me. If not, good. I don't know how good this mic will pick that up. But, I think, yeah, we'll enter the next room and we'll call it good. Bombs are the only multi-targeting weapon in the game, but they are physically weaker and they do not upgrade with your level, as does every other item. Um, up there, there are just some more bombs if you wanted them. Uh, 
yeah, we'll leave it here. I'll see you next time, folks. This has probably been a short one. Uh, this is Stompy Llama signing up, and we'll see you next time when we finish the Bone Dungeon. Or at least get to the boss.